Welcome everyone. Hey, this is Danny, and welcome to Tech Rage. And uh, this is the first episode of many that's a part of my new segment called Open Source Alternative. And uh, what I'll be primarily focused on is delivering usable, functional, open source software. Right now, uh, this could be. Uh, from browser extensions now as you see here um, I have a ad block alternative that works for multiple browsers but besides that I'll also be focusing on uh, desktop software and uh, even open source I mean uh, cross-platform software so um, I know me myself at work I have a Windows 10 machine now um, I try my best to use as many open source softwares and uh, for those who really want to get into using open source technologies and you know um, really you know would prefer it you know for the whether for the methodology or for you know in which for whatever reason um, you know you can also do so on other platforms and including Mac as well alright guys so my first video is on Adblock Plus. Now, recently they got into the limelight because of them basically selling ads. Now, um, this is very unfortunate. You know, it's very, uh, very wrong because they are basically doing the very thing that it was primarily made for, which was blocking ads, and um, you know it was obviously a m a money stunt because um they're filtering certain websites that they deem are appropriate well, acceptable and non-intrusive now and i totally understand you know a company needs to make their money and um but to compromise on a person's security and um their browsing experience and just uh just compromising the users, you know, their privacy and their safety. Um, no, I mean, I, I can't say, you know, how well that filtering would be, but I just want to get rid of it entirely because uh, I prefer not to compromise. And I have for you guys an open source alternative, which is called uBlock Origin. Now, yes, this also works on Google Chrome. Um, so you can install this on Google Chrome, Firefox, whether you have those browsers on any different type of operating system, it wouldn't matter. It works just fine. Um, and I'm actually very happy about this uh, this extension because I came across this a couple of weeks back. And um, since the news of Adblock Plus, they've actually uh, risen in users like exponentially. Uh, they're close to going up to two, th two million users on Firefox and on Chrome they've reached uh, right here six million users that right there is an amazing feat and it's because of Adblock's blunder that <laughs> it came to be this way and don't fret guys this is a fully functional working modern uh, extension that is uh, consistently updated as you see here recently uh, um, as of this video uh, October 26 2016 so that's about a couple of days back but we could go and um, so it's fully supported uh, you can find the code on github if you want to view it yourself uh, they provide the link here go let me just open this up for you guys there you go. Uh, they compare the differences in terms of uh, RAM usage and uh, so on and so forth. Um, if you see here, and um, they've even provided some stats. Bring this up for you guys. So, what's ah? There you go. For some reason, they show it in the Chrome browser, but not the Firefox browser. But you see, they compare usage and memory, and um, yeah, they're showing here on Chromium, which 
is also an open source alternative to Google Chrome. Um, so yeah, it uh, works really well, guys. I've had no issue with it whatsoever. Um, no, no lagness, no lagginess on my my web browsing, and also with this extension, they do provide pre-filtered websites. So um, they they go through many websites, especially websites that are reported. Then they blacklist these websites. So whenever you come across these, these would automatically be blocked. Now you can also whitelist um, other websites that aren't on their blacklist. So uh, that's the advantage of this uh, extension. And um, say for instance, uh, you actually want to support a creator or creator's website, um, a YouTube channel, right? And you would like to support them and allow the, the ads to play just for that singular website. Well, you can filter that so that it does just that, just for that particular page alone and no other by simply clicking on the add-on extension on whichever browser. So I'm clicking on my Chrome and then clicking the power off button. So you see here it says here, or you can do control click uh, disabled uBlock only on this page. Okay, so just keep that in mind guys. Um, very neat application for your browser. Works really well have no issues with it whatsoever. Uh, they have many good reviews, especially recently with what's been going on. All of these users jumping over to Adblock Plus. I am very, I mean, jumping from Adblock Plus, I'm very happy with um, the success of this extension. Um, uh, obviously, because, you know, well, for one, um, it doesn't compromise on your privacy, on your security, but also because it's open source, you know? so that kind of extends within the methodology of you know open source and uh, allowing the code to be viewed and to be shared and to be analyzed by other people so that um, you know people can give a second opinion so and you know to prove that it does exactly what it says it's supposed to do so guys I highly recommend it download this on your browsers um, but yeah it's really good and um, if you like this please leave a like, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Um, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Now, this is my first video amongst many. I'm already been working on quite a few videos that I'll be putting out within the coming weeks. Um, many open source alternatives that not only work, you know, that are functional, you know, softwares that you can actually use, but, you know, ones that are consistently supported and updates in patches, uh, what you know, all that, and that is functional. You know, uh, I do not want to share software that has been updated in two, three years, and has had issues. So, all right, guys, hope you like it. Let me know what your experience is like, and uh, yeah, feel free to view the code. You know, that is one of the advantages. Well, yeah, one of the uh, main advantages of using open source technologies is being able to view the code so view it for yourself if um you know if you have any concerns you know all right guys so hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video